Camera captures why husband insists on paying Peppy sitter outside. The camera captures why the husband insists on paying the Peppy sitter outside. She didn't pay it any mind at first, but when she heard her husband and the Peppy sitter and husband whisper, what was going on? She needed to get at the bottom of that. But after setting up her plan, she would watch the recording and wish that she'd never gone through it. The Richards couple was the talk of the town. They seemed to have everything that they ever wanted. The two were successful in their jobs. John was a lawyer and his wife, Grace, was a real estate agent. The day they found out that Grace was pregnant, they couldn't believe it. They were being happy, but soon that happiness would change and they were met with many hardships. Grace had always dreamed of being mother, and now that it was finally going to be a reality, she couldn't be happier to make things even better. The pregnancy went off without a hitch, but the challenges would arrive after she conceived. She soon developed postpartum depression and found it hard to get back to her old physique. Grace knew that once she had back to work, she would need to find a setter to look after her precious child. She got a babysitter named Anna. She was very pretty and came highly commended by the neighbors. Grace felt confident in hiring her, but there was a problem she couldn't see coming. Grace noticed soon after hiring Anna that she had a quite flirty personality, but she tried to forget about it, but soon found a reason to think. Twice one day, she heard a hushed conversation between a setter and her husband. What were they talking about? She found it jealous and suspicious, and she needed to find out what was going on. Grace was becoming all too aware at the time more on that their relationship had changed. They had been together for a while. Grace began to wonder whether her husband thought it was time for a change. After all, she said, giving birth to a child, and she didn't have the energy or the physique she once had. Usually, she had just suppressed these suspicions. Ah, but now. She had a good reason for his passion. Grace didn't know how to handle the situation. She knew if she asked her husband what was going on between them, he feels deeply upset and she didn't trust him. And instead, she decided to gather more evidence before saying anything. After all, it may well be nothing. She waited until we're both gone to execute her plan. She set up two hidden cameras inside the house and one outside. She continued to act as if she suspected nothing, but the more time passed, the more she noticed their strange behavior. Her heart pounded as she realized there was a definitely something gone between them. After a week passed, Grace was ready to confront her worst nightmare. She sat in her living room and logged into the security cameras. She hoped desperately her intuition was wrong. She secured over the footage, posing and time. She saw both her husband and Anna alone in her room. She continued to have to play and watch anxiously as her stomach twisted. It wasn't long before she noticed the tension between them. Anna slowly closed the distance between them each time they were alone. Now, there was no doubt she was heading on him, but how would he react? Grace was glued to the screen. Suddenly, she heard a knock at the door. It was Anna. She dropped by announcing to collect her payment for the month. She said that John was expecting her, and Grace forced a smile. Just then, her husband appeared. Anna, he said, Grace was about to get up and reach over her wall. When John said, I got this, Grace, don't worry about it. He insisted on walking Anna out of the car and paying her himself. Little did he know that Grace was watching more often than that. Being a mom is not the sexiest job. You're tired, full of mess, and can sleep there for your kids. However, Grace's husband was a desirable man. She had often noticed the looks he got from other women. She tried not to let it bother her, but it lingered in the back of her mind. But the way their babysitter was locking at him tonight or her on high alert. Grace could see that Anna was behaving more oddly than usual around her husband. Tonight, when she saw her caught her hand on John's arm, she knew she was definitely up to something. Grace watched Anna and her husband walk the hallway. Then they stopped. She wished she could hear what Anna was saying. Then her heart dropped and Grace watched as her husband got it in outside. Then she locked straight into the life 
footage from the outdoor camera. This is dead, she thought. The moment her marriage came rumbling apart, she watched him converse. But something was wrong. They looked like an argument. Anna started to cry, and John stormed back inside. What happened? Grace raised out to her husband. What happened? She asked it. I fired her, John said. Why? Grace questioned. John told her to take a seat. Grace praised herself for what was to come. It was happening. She couldn't believe it. John told her that he didn't like the way she treated him. He continued. I didn't like the way she looked or talked to me. She flirted with me all the time and I felt like she was completely disrespecting you. She made me feel uncomfortable. I told her to stop many times and she didn't listen. I was left with no choices. It was way too inappropriate. Grace had never felt happier and gallier. So she came clean. Grace told him how worried she was. She said she knew something was going on between them. And set up a camera. She asked it for his forgiveness for spying. And should have addressed him. She explained that she felt insecure since the baby and felt like he wasn't as everyone. He wasn't interested in her. Anyway, Grace began to cry. She told John how she felt like everyone she knew had been able to pull themselves together after giving birth. But she was struggling with her insecurities and her postpartum depression. She didn't manage to lose the baby weight. And she felt like he didn't find her attractive anymore, which made things worse. Her husband was shocked at her response. He had no idea she felt that way. And although he didn't appreciate her not to trusting him and going to such extremes, he admitted that she should have just been open about everything with her. He understood how it must have looked as he didn't communicate openly and maturely with her. Needless to say, Anna was not hired by the Richards ever again and Grace what Grace had done pushed her to finally get a professional help for her postpartum depression. Her doctor explained that she wasn't alone in her feelings. Postpartum depression affects 10 to 20 percent of new mothers. She started treatment with antidepressant medication and began seeing a psychotherapist. Joan was supportive and completely on her side and she no longer felt so alone. Around four weeks later, the terrible loan, paranoia and security began to left. Grace felt like she was able to breathe. The feeling of inadequacy, depression and anxiety melted away and she started being her old self again. They hired a new babysitter to help her with her baby. A few days after, John fired Anna and she was nothing like her. After a year of a treatment, Grace was ready to come off the medication. This extreme form of depression can make women feel like they have lost control. What they are helpless, they are inadequate. So, what should you do if you know someone you think is experiencing it? According to the Postnatal Depression Support Association, the most effective way is to tackle a postpartum depression in conjunction with medication is to seek a professional care from psychologists to identify the triggers and help the NUMA work through them. There are also support groups out there, and many women find it helpful to share their thoughts and feelings with other women. Most of all women with postpartum depression need to know that they are not alone.